it's an affirmation of what the city has tried to do. Gabe Davis is the new executive director of Cincinnati Citizen Complaint Authority. He's the son of a Cincinnati police officer and he's prosecuted cases of police misconduct. And to be a part of that work of, of getting into the weeds of what happened, what didn't happen, having citizens play a role in that process and playing a role in recommending solutions to complaints, it's a very fulfilling thing to, to witness. The group's primary purpose is to investigate specific allegations of serious misconduct by Cincinnati police. He saw some of that process today involving a recent complaint against veteran officer Al Staples, who notably responded during the 5th Third Center shooting downtown. This courtesy, the allegation is supported by sufficient evidence to determine that the incident occurred and the actions of the officer were improper sustained. He lied. He lied and said he was physically assaulted by the police officers. He was not. He was 100% of the problem. Fraternal Order of Police President Dan Hills argues this complaint from an unrelated incident involved language used and should have been unfounded. He says the CCA board members need to review all aspects before voting and not just investigator reports. Hills says the process can create inaccurate records. Davis hopes to set a gold standard and introduce mediation between police and complainants. His goal is to ensure fair reports, he says, can't be ignored. We obviously see, see things differently on a variety of cases that are before the CCA. And uh, we're going to call it like we see it here. We'll certainly welcome people with different viewpoints to the table to have dialogue and discussion. So Davis was also able to see a presentation regarding transparency with uh, Cincinnati police involving their body cams and cruiser cams. He seemed especially interested in figuring out if upgrading software and upgrading hardware could speed up the availability of those records. We're live downtown. Dan Griffin, WLWT News 5. Right.